Hello guys. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have uh, done this modeling till here. So let's continue this further. So let's push this. Let's go to that top view first. Push it a bit inside. Let's create this machine. Let's take a box. Let's go to the top view. So let's push this over here. Okay. All right. So you can just increase its height a bit and convert to AW poly control and click on this polygon let's give a bit of a extrude a bit very very less and just increase push it a bit up over here alright so let's again take one more box auto grid activate the auto grid option so let's push this over here So convert to editable poly. Let's go to the vertices. Just push this down. So select this polygon. Use the inset option and extrude it down a bit. All right. So now what we can do over here is like. Let's take one more box over here. Take one more box. Convert to editable poly. Let's select this, push this down, push this down over here. Can place this over here. this way all right so you can just duplicate this stuff so you can just duplicate this again take a box over here can resize this, push it inside, push it up, convert to editable poly, select the polygons over here, extrude it, so let's select the vertices, press R and scale it, that's it, alright. So you can select this, give a bit of a inset option, a 
okay that's it all right so you can push it inside take a swift loop and can just rotate it in this way perfect and you can copy this from this view over here so you can make two copies let's save your file over here so you can just select this uh, let's go on to this view again so you can go to the top view push it over here and you can just push this down convert to editable poly push this down over here so let's convert to editable poly so press 4 insert it and you can give a texture now uh, if you want some details you can generate it using a lattice modifier we'll do it further now first let's complete the rest of the stuff over here which is pending over here so let's take a box over here create a box let's create a box over here up till here so convert to editable poly so select the vertices and just push this up push this over here click over here select this and this and give a bit of extrude over here that's it all right so you have just generated this stuff so if you want that this to be pushed over here and you want to push this a bit over here so that can be done you can just push this a bit over here further better ok so just save your file so now you can create this stuff it's very simple over here so let's take a cylinder over here so you can just take a cylinder or you can even make it using a line tool over here so let's take a line tool over here of this so you can just take a line tool alright so you can click over here just push this over here and there is a modifier called lith modifier so you can give a lith modifier so you can go into this lith and you can just edit this stuff over here like this as you want it so select this vertices and you can give a bit of a fillet over here and you can give a fillet over here so as you can see we have uh, just generated this stuff over here and right click convert to editable poly so you can just push this a bit down 
So you don't need to create a game. So let's give a shell modifier to give a bit of thickness to it. So let's take again a cylinder. Let's take a cylinder over here. Push the cylinder up. Take a cylinder. So you can just push the cylinder up over here. So you can reduce the radius of the cylinder a bit. Can increase its size. All right. So increase its, reduce its height segments. Convert to a double poly. Can just push it in this way. Better. Just scale. It. So select the edges, select the top edges and give a bit of a chamfer, chamfer to it, Oops. So select the edge and give a chamfer, click OK and you can just resize this stuff. Alright, so once you are done with this, so you can select this and this, convert to a double poly, and you can just group it, you can just group this and resize this. So, as you can. Just uh, place this kind of kind of jars over here. Just place it over here, press shift and you can as many copies you require you can just give that many copies and go on to this view just copy this down the same way you can do it for all of this alright that's it So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial.